This is a story about normal everyday people who wander under Earth's golden skies where we have emerged from a barbaric history into a universe where an invisible intelligence of beauty appears to exist in all things. From the immense galaxies and the distant stars strewn across the night sky all the way down to planet Earth and the miracle of nature's wonder. And if you're lucky, you've found your lover. Or I have only found lonely obsessions. That's why I'm starting this story at the earliest stage of the universe as we know it today. Where every law of physics and every giant event to every small thing that has ever set a chain of events where within infinity it makes any possibility in creation a certainty at some point of time. It is a set of circumstances that has created her. Like an infinite design, so incredible, so vast and so perfectly designed. Yet because the possibility of life is certain at some point, as a mathematical secret to our creation, it makes this giant universe's design too perfect. That it could only be a love so profound that not even mere words can put something so vast into context. And that an infinite sized place, impossible to fully comprehend, has no point whatsoever without us being created. That the ancient rumble of creation does stir for beauty worthy. And in all the things that have ever existed, have you ever seen anything as beautiful as her? She must be at the top of an infinite list of possibilities. The most beautiful thing is love. Love is a phenomena, the bond that holds together the structures of modern civilization, the history and culture of the 21st century. Love is an adventure, the roller coaster ride of words, the deepness of the ocean within the eyes, the ghosts of our ancestors' dreams, like an inexplicable philosophy as the evolution of the human soul like children waking to a sunrise over our city's new world and our spirit's new freedom. The limit to the fundamental factors of the universe and space and time's existence is a barrier of non-existence a which to make space and time finite. Yet if non-existence cannot exist, then the universe is infinite. So this means that anything possible at some point within reason, even God, is as certain as the air we breathe. How I personally perceive this God is not a blame for the cruel chaos of energy in the laws of physics, but a secret excitement in the air, a vibration within what seems as still space, but is a galaxy racing at astronomical speed. It is a whisper in the trees or the gentleness of a butterfly, something that could do no harm nor would want to. That this gentle beauty seems to be so benign and harmless that people do not notice, as if it does nothing. But if you look across a beautiful golden sunset into the infinite distance of space, you are standing at the beginning of a beautiful civilization, at the beginning of a never-ending adventure. And this absurdly subtle vastness is a gift. If particles have travelled forever, to turn it into you and you don't do anything with your existence to push the limits of what is possible and crack the code of life like I have done then you have wasted your dreams only once in all the history of civilization can a profound invention be invented by one person throughout all space and time and so even a list of infinite potential she is the most beautiful only the most beautiful gift is worthy. A cellular, biological revolution of human life to overcome the flaws of evolution to solve death. When a love could only once become part of the fabric of space, where it is bonded into the particles of space and exists permanently forever in a bubble of time, as governments and even criminals 
try and steal the true influence over the world and feed it into their games of popularity, they can never steal and cheat the intangible truth. That a universe impossible to fully comprehend has no point without us being created, as if it is a design that is too perfect. And though nobody can really prove this, can you prove that there is music in the raindrops, especially for you? Like waves in the ocean that melt messages in the sand, there is just for one moment an indistinct connection to something or, or someone in an illusion. But as the nature of erroneous illusions, the mind will not retain the memory of something it cannot prove. Or my life, my memories turn into an indescribable dream. Like standing at the verge of chaos where no logical approach to chaos shows any certainty in the present moment. But like possibility that brings hope and inspiration, she is like a hidden ghost of deja vu that inspired love. And if for just one brief moment, there seemed to be a music in the raindrops, it disappeared back into the ocean and the messages in the sand were washed away before I could read what was written. Or the ghost in the videos was just a tiger's golden eyes in the camouflage of the jungle. As each new day is like another amnesia, where an invisible angel is playing games with my heart like a blink from a never-ending darkness of time and space and jumped into the present moment, have you awoken to see the truth or are you still dreaming the broken thoughts of the wild? As cavemen have imagined dancing demons within the flickering flames as the lost secrets of our ancestors' souls, the madness that turned mere beasts into men, the inexplicable philosophy of love as the divine intervention, as trying to make sense of this feral world unlocks a perfection in mathematics that can only be described as a madness. Like a, a hidden gift of intelligence that's only a a forgotten obsession. A treatment of vaccines, of DNA repair genes, can affect every cell in the human body, but only reverse the random damage of DNA mutation or cancer. The 21st century's modern understanding of reality and thus truth as how they approach the dilemmas of the world, and they are only blind trying to organize chaos, or like trying to discover each individual mutation one by one. If we can not discover any true certainty, then anything is possible. And if nothing can shackle down our souls, nor the freedom of our spirits, then you should take a gamble on love. And maybe you might get lucky. like smelling vegan farts under the duvet. Yeah, it sure makes you think twice about walking down the meat aisle. Yeah, if an apple screams in your joy to be munched, why point blank shoot a baby sheep in the head? Well, as a 300 foot giant 
that poops jelly beans so that insects can praise your booty. Maybe the sweet smell of your ancient forest name will echo throughout the ancient forests and hills as a, the cycles of secret paradise. More like having an enema so that the ass kissing is hygienic. Being conquered by dried praising insects and turned into ice cream makers is a far sight better than modern drugs making you think that being a meat pie is great. Though drugs might be the closest way to simulate love, who knows what a drug addict thinks these words mean. Well, in a secret moonlit garden, like the secret nature of life, a gentle touch does make the flowers bloom. And though just one single rose may grow out of a dusty old dog turd in a cake box, if I were a six foot insect, the holy light shining out of your ass, like the holy grail, would be like selling ice cream in the summer. We should be selling love in the darkest hour. And though doomsday devices are the last hope against any apocalypse, maybe instead of a demasculating confusion of the feminine weakness of cock-sizing contests of world leaders and their missiles, like sex therapy for men from women as post-ops that turn out to be straight after it's too late. Is it homosexual to have a close relationship with a male fruit fly? Like the regurgitating passion of modern alcoholism as the meeting places of love. The fruit flies eating habits are the closest thing I have to a touch being a lonely bloke living on my own. As rich beautiful women spend loads of money on health machines to run thousands of miles to go nowhere. You could get paid for cleaning as a fitness regime and the ginormous fruit fly could kiss my ass. Good night, Kathy. See you tomorrow. Good night, darling. Take care of that throat. You're a big singing star now, remember? This California dew is just a little heavier than usual tonight. Really? From where I stand, the sun is shining all over the place. in my heart and I'm ready for love let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place come on with the rain I have a smile on my face I walk down the lane with a happy refrain just singing singing in Dancing in the rain Yadda 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 I'm happy again I'm singing and dancing in
dancing and singing in 